Hey, what's up, everyone? Your boy blew up on here. Um, and I figured I'd make this video to give my testimony and hopefully try to help some other juggalo family out. Or even if you're not a juggalo, I guess, you know, if you come across this, I mainly make videos for my juggalo family. If you didn't know, yeah, hi, I'm a twisted juggalo, um, you know, and um, I think more juggalos need to be doing jankum or butt hash. Um, I think it would be a fun thing for everyone to do at the gathering, you know, because um, I've had nothing but positive experiences from it. And it's just helped me out so much in my life, you know, and it's something free that you can make yourself easily, you know, and take the time to create. And and it's just uh, you experience fecal nirvana and enlightenment, you know, and it just actually helps bring you closer to God in the spiritual realm. It's almost like psychedelics. I would compare it to um, because you do you. You feel at one with the world, you know what I'm saying? When you reach full fecal enlightenment, which I would say to take at least three or four huffs. Um, now, if you want to know an easy way to make Jankum, all you got to do is, um, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> make sure you eat a lot of fiber. You got you want to have a good, solid um, bowel movement. And you take that turd and you put it in a bottle. Um, I would recommend um, one of those water gallon, like five gallon water bottles uh, in a water cooler or whatever. You know what I mean? Like that you keep changing, you might keep changing or whatever. You know, if you have a big old water cooler bottle, um, you know, um, you just empty it out and uh, you, you put some poop and some pee in there. Right. And you seal it. And you let that sit, like you put it on your back porch or something, let it sit in the sun every day for like a week. That's all it takes is like a week, right? And then, you know, uh, what you want to do is be very careful that you don't waste it when it's sealed. You want to unseal it or poke a hole in the top and put a balloon on it. And so it fills up like a nitrous balloon, right? And then you huff that, you huff that like three or four good times. And you experience fecal enlightenment and it's a high like no other, you know, and it's totally free. You can make it at home, you know, and to me, it's helped me stay off of alcohol. It's helped me get off of hard drugs. I was smoking crack cocaine, which is hell of a drug, a hell of a drug, you know, um, you know, Jankum helped me be more. I used to be an atheist, too, but Huff and Jankum actually helped me be more spiritual and I do firmly believe in the spiritual realm because I connect with spirits, my guardian angels and whatnot, when I reach full fecal nirvana. So I highly suggest everyone um, take my advice and try to jank them. It's not that hard. Um, you know, uh, you know, people have known about this for years, you know, and I've done it off and on. Um, throughout my life and it's just something I kind of at first I was embarrassed about but I see a lot of other people um, coming out and speaking out against up uh, not speaking out against it but speaking up about it rather and uh, sharing their stories and testimonies as well which um, you know <laughs> you know it really does um, it helps it helps you and it's totally safe you know um, you can't OD you know, if anything, you'll just have to sit down, experience full fecal nirvana and, and for a couple of minutes and then snap back into reality, you know, and you want to do it around either by yourself or with friends that you trust. You know, it's just like doing some acid or something or partying and getting drunk with your friends. You know, you want to surround yourself with good people that are going to look out for you and make sure you don't, you know, fall down or something like that, you know, so. Um, because, you know, yes, it is, you do get a buzz off of it. Yes, but it's a, it's a good, healthy one. That's good for you. So I would suggest maybe, you know, um, you know, getting off of your medications. If you're prescribed something like depression and anxiety meds, get off of that shit. It's not good for you. Just huff jank them. You know, if you're an alcoholic or if you're addicted to any certain kind of hard drug, you know, 
get off that shit. Just huff, drink them. It's good for you. It really is, you know, and I don't understand why more people aren't doing this, you know. Um, so take my advice, huff, drink them, you know. Um, and uh, it really, it helped me be a better family man as well. Um, I realized uh, taking care when I was a stay-at-home dad, you know, I get a little stressed out by the kids. <clears throat> Go huff a little, drink them real quick. You know, have a bottle. You know, like I said, it's good to have one of the big jugs or whatever to make it. And you can keep on adding more poop and pee in there to create more jankum, even more dank jankum, you know, with recycled poop and pee in there, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, you can keep little bottles as well, too. You know, it's just it's hard getting the turds in the hole in the bottle sometime, you know. That's why some people do prefer diarrhea. Um, but I prefer, you know, you want to eat some like hot, spicy food or something. Then the next day when you poop it out, save that poop, a good hard, you know, one of them poops that burns coming out, you know, that's the kind of poop you want to make jankum with, you know, and also with your urine that you pee in it a little bit, you know, you want to eat some asparagus or something like that. And when you pee in there, I would suggest, you know, um, so you, it's fun. You can try your own different kind. There's different Danknesses of jankum, just like there's different strands of marijuana and different alcohols. You know, there's different ways of make potent jankum depending on the fecal matter that you use. You know, so, um, <clears throat> uh, so you know, I would recommend. That's why I recommend using one of the big water jugs. You know what I'm saying? That has a big hole in there, and sometimes you know you can sit right down on it. And just poop directly into the which, into the uh, bottle, you know. And that's uh, actually, you know, it's kind of uh, it makes me think because you listen to the song "What Is a Juggalo." Violent J talks about a juggalo, someone who's walking down the streets with a two-liter stuck in his butt cheeks. Now that makes you think, you know, he had the two-liter stuck in his butt cheeks because he's trying to poop into the bottle to create jankum. And this was back in 97, y'all. So ICP have known about this secret themselves for years. So, um, you know, I think it's it's starting to become more of a mainstream thing where people are realizing they can do it, you know. And uh, the truth is, and the government don't want you to know this, you know what I mean? Because the truth is only what they want you to know, you know. But, um, you know, that's like we have technology for free energy you know, and, and free, uh, jankum, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, what else are they lying to us about? You know, what else do we not know that they are suppressing from us, from the public, you know? So, um, let me know what your thoughts are after trying jankum. Um, you know, uh, share this video with your friends, share, share, share. Because I want to share my testimony and get the word out there about Jankum and how it will change your life. You know, if you're afraid of doing like acid or DMT or even shrooms, you know, shrooms are safe for you. But if you're afraid of doing any of that, you know, uh, I would suggest doing Jankum first before to get yourself ready if you want to do that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's like a gateway drug to harder drugs, but it's just all about, the, you know, it's good for you because it opens your mind. You know, so much clown love to my Juggalo family, my twisted serial killing Juggalo family. Um, I love you guys. Donate if you can. And um, yeah, Jankum for life, man. It saves lives for real. Thank you, Jesus, for Jankum.